Okay, rotisserie. <laughs> when you start the rotisserie, there's a tray in the bottom, collection tray. Want to make sure we clean that out. Put a little water in there as you're cooking chickens. The grease will drip down. If you don't have the water in there, it can smoke and it just makes the cleanup a lot easier. A little water in the bottom of the tray. The, uh, the baskets, as you see, the, the, we talked about the flexibility that the baskets provide you. So what I tried to show you today was just some other options and ideas to think about when you're talking about adding additional sources of revenue for this oven. It's not just for chicken. When you go to a customer and you talk about chickens and that batch per days and so forth, you know, expand on that and say, okay, now if you follow it up with this pumpkin, for example, I took a pumpkin, a pie pumpkin, stuffed it with a bread pudding. Now you take your chicken home and you've got this, this pumpkin that you can take home for dessert. Uh, we also put in there some stuffed peppers, um, squash, just to show some other items, chicken, and then of course ribs. Uh, with the ribs, you know, a great takeout item then, right? And the advantage to our um, baskets is that, say for example, the pumpkin or the rib, as you saw me take the chicken out, you stop the oven, you can reach in, take this off, take it to the counter, take the product out, box up the rib, and away they go. Much easier. If you had a spit product, you'd have to take that spit out, you'd have to pull the, the spit out of the chicken, it's just a little bit messier. We were loading this up, we'd put one basket in, we'd rotate to the next position. We'd load another basket in, rotate to the next position. You wouldn't want to be opening and closing the door each time. Now this unit is, the timer on this unit does control the heat circuit. You have to have the timer on. Now you can go past the 120 timer to a on setting, 100% on. And then set the thermostat so you know, if you wanted to keep things warm, but the timer's nice. If you set your timer, you know the temperature that you want to cook your chickens at. Now it's set. Now that it's, it's not going to overcook the chicken. Then you come back, turn it to on, put your temperature down a little bit. If you wanted to hold for a short time, not really designed to be a hold oven for chickens or things like that. But um, so the heat is dependent on the timer. Some of the other 120 volt items as well, the heat is dependent on the timer function. We'll try to point out to you when they are and when they aren't. At the end of the day, you'd wipe this unit down, you take the, the, the drawer out of the bottom, obviously wash that down. Interior surfaces, all stainless steel, fine to use oven cleaners, scour pads, whatever. Glass surfaces, probably glass cleaner, and again, just like your oven, if you had something on there, oven cleaners, 